The 508 Sport Engineered's appeal lies in its combination of dramatic looks, business class motorway cruising, zero tailpipe emissions for up to 34 miles, and company-friendly tax. It comes in two versions, an oh-so-attractive fastback and estate, the latter of which is blessed with frameless side windows and a low-slung roofline for ample coupe attitude with wagon flexibility. It's still quite unusual for such a performance-focused offering to be underpinned by an on-trend plug-in hybrid drivetrain, a situation that's changing all the time. But while Peugeot has a marketing advantage with the 508 PSE, it's hardly been flying out of the showrooms. In the old days, this might have been called a Peugeot 508 MI16, T16 or GTI, but today in an attempt to play up its motorsport connections, it's called the Peugeot Sport Engineered. And to be fair, this is not just marketing fluff. In its transition from stylish executive to Autobahn Stormer, the competition department has operated its brakes, steering and suspension setup to give it the poise to go with a dose of extra power. In short, it's a dual motor plug-in hybrid with a total power output of 355 brake horsepower for a claim 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 5.3 seconds and a limited maximum speed of 155 miles per hour. That's a big ask for any French car, but it is also rather cheaper than its aforementioned Teutonic rivals. Especially when one considers just how much standard kit they throw in with the 508 PSE. You get all the driver assistance technology you'd ever want, as well as a suitably premium sounding focal stereo, supportive massaging seats with AGR certification, five drive modes, 